Hey, what's up YouTube, Mike here. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about wallets. Now, wallet is, a wallet is really something that people take for granted. It's something that you carry with you every single day. It's something that you pull out and in, put in your pocket constantly. Especially for me when I'm taking the train, I have to take my Metro card out, I have to buy things, I have to, lots and lots of different things. Um, a wallet also is something that people will see. And when you're making a purchase on something, it, it'll have a certain impact. My old wallet here, this Herschel wallet, was a really, really great wallet. All black, very subtle, and uh, it did the job for about two years. But eventually, I had this problem where I kept losing it. And it would fall into crevices, and because it was all black, I kept having a really hard time finding it. So I put this orange tape on it. Not a great way to solve an issue, but it was definitely an issue. This old wallet was about $60, and I had to upgrade. So, what we have over here, I bought a Gucci wallet. Now, this might seem a little crazy for some of you. Why would I want to spend so much money on a wallet? Well, a wallet is really something that you can personalize and show a lot of your... Wait a minute, it's not in here. Oh, that's because it's right here. This is my wallet. It's a it's more of a coin or um a card case is what they call it. it has a really nice zipper here. Um on the inside it has three pouches and you can separate them. I have some IDs, credit cards, debit cards, and some cash. That's how I usually deal with it. I can clip it on my belt loop and stick it in my pocket. It's not going anywhere. This wallet has served me great for about three months now, and in those three months, I've got to learn a lot about it. But before we get into that, I'm going to break this down, and we're going to focus on, first thing, value. That's probably the biggest thing that people will consider when buying a wallet, but maybe not so much when you're buying something like this. Uh, over here, I have the receipt for this wallet, and as you can see there, the wallet cost $295, and after tax it was $321. That might sound ridiculous to you. If it does, you're probably right. It kind of is. But something that you might not know is that now, three months later after this product, after I bought this product, it now retails for $320 plus tax. So that means that this is now about a $350 wallet. The price went up. How many of you can say that about your wallet? If I could sell this for a dollar, I'd be I'd be lucky. It's not worth the change that's inside of it. With this wallet, it's made of a very robust um, canvas that does not rub off. I very very rarely have to baby this thing the paint for the lot or the tiger oh, it's so beautiful it's uh possibly going to rub off if you're reckless with it but i always keep it in a safe pocket i don't put it with my keys or anything if you wanted to you could clip your keys onto here and make it all a uh, single thing but for value a plus because it goes up I can resell this and get all my money back. For durability, it is fantastic so far. Shows no sign of wear anywhere. Uh, not even on the inside. It actually still smells brand new. And um, that's a really big thing for me because I am somebody who uses things to death. Um, if you subscribe, you'll see that I'm coming out with another product video. It's another something that you wouldn't normally spend a lot of money on. I went out and spent way too much money on. But uh, you'll see that, and I'll give you a hint. I broke it already. Not talking about a wallet, though. That's for another video. This wallet is in perfect, perfect condition. Um, another thing you can think about is perception. What do people think of you when they see you carrying a Gucci wallet? Well, when you purchase the product, you'll see they give you a beautiful beautiful dust bag just to keep the thing in just to, if you're gonna store it you even get a Gucci silica beads bag 
That's pretty crazy. And I doubt you'll be holding on to your Herschel wallet box for very long, but I intend on selling this later on down the road, so I'm keeping all my tags, all my things intact, and uh, that's very possible. But when I walk around with this, if I have it clipped in my pocket, it might stick out just a little bit for you to get that double G, and that's all you really need. If they know what it is, they'll know what it is. If they don't, they don't. And they'll just think that you have a really tacky, gaudy wallet. As you can see, though, it's perfect. The the Gs always line up perfectly where you'll have one G here, one G here, and then three pairs. Or you'll just get four total pairs. Two, two, three, or four. That is consistent all throughout the wallet. Nothing has... Uh, the only... The only thing that I ever really had a problem with about this, and besides living in New York City and not really wanting to pull this out when I'm like in the bodega trying to buy like a dollar pastelito, I don't want to whip out my Gucci wallet. I might just keep like some cash in my inside pocket of my jacket just because, because of this. Also, if I am getting on the train, I have to bust out my Metro card. I usually have something in my hand. If I'm not carrying my skateboard, I'm carrying a bag or something like that. It's hard to get to my wallet for my Metro card because I have to unzip this and that's just a whole nother step for me. That's really my biggest problem with this. Other than that though, it's something that I don't regret in the slightest. It's fantastic. It's holding up. The value of it went up and it's just so beautiful in my opinion it's something that really stands out and when you pull out your wallet to buy something you really make an impression and it for me that that equates to a good purchase so so if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and uh subscribe because if you want to see more things like this or ton of other videos that I make I think you'll uh I don't even know what I'm rambling on about just subscribe all right guys see you in the next video